what is the cost of workplace conflict? I'm Karen Balencic, the founder of Spiral Impact, and I am going to answer that question by comparing conflict with water. So here we go. Consider conflict mastery is like free flowing water in nature. Take a look at this mountain stream. There is conflict happening between the water, the rocks, and the earth, and it creates beauty. Moving, shaping, and creating. This is what conflict mastery does. So brace your eyes because we're going to shift to what we tend to do when conflict isn't going well. Our first stop is the distant drip ignored. You may have experienced that where you think you hear some water dripping, but it's so faint and so intermittent that it's easy to ignore. Perhaps it's like a gut feeling you ignore or a perceived non-urgent complaint that is much more significant to the complainer than it is to you, so you ignore it. Left unintended, those small drips create huge unintended consequences. Then there is the not so distant drip, the faucet drip. It's been happening for a while. It's annoying, but we've ignored it. It becomes part of the background noise. I correlate this with rude behavior in the workplace. Studies indicate that 90% of people experience rude behavior and half of those at least once a week. Also, recent studies show that the average worker spends 3% of their time in conflict, costing business $360 billion a year. Wow. So you may think, well, maybe people need to be thicker skinned, yet there is a rippling impact to this behavior. What is the cost of that ripple? Well, these figures don't include costs from potential safety issues and the lack of problem solving that occurs. The costs are huge and the ripples out, often without leadership knowing or acknowledging. So the studies show that 63% lose work time avoiding the offender. 48% decrease their work effort. 25% admitted taking frustration out on customers. 80% lose work time worrying about it, and 12% leave. Then we have the reoccurring puddle that needs to be mopped up. There's a lot of studies on how much time the typical manager spends on workplace conflict, and they range from 25% to 40%. Think about if you just take that time straight off their salary. It's pretty darn expensive. And then we have the clogged drain, the constricted flow of the water. There's studies from the University of Florida that show there's a 30% drop in creativity when there is just some minor rudeness. And of course, when you get into some bigger conflicts, project delays ensue, which can cost lots and lots of money. And then there is when things freeze up. This is a frozen door. What does a client or customer cost your business? Uh, bank customers witness rude behavior between employees, and 80% of them said they wouldn't be back. And then we have a flooded basement. You know, with the increase of virtual meetings, it really opens up a door for a lot of passive aggression in the workplace, and that creates this underground thing that's happening where there's all this water and mold and nasty creatures can grow in there and we may not even be aware of it until it's too late. And then we have the burst pipe and as you can see all the water falling down into the office space and this is where things get really really pricey with litigation, recalls, rework, public relations nightmares and huge turnover and those costs can be in the billions and the millions. And actually, undealt with conflict can even cause death, which is on the rise in terms of how people are having difficulty managing those things that come up in their lives. When you've mastered conflict, 
it comes with a sense of both freedom and control. So I warn you, mastery is not about perfection, but it is about knowing the skills. And you may fail, but you try again and again until you come to peace with what you've got. If you are ready to transform your relationship with conflict, please join me. And I look forward to seeing you on this journey. That is all for now.